joining us, please use the raise hand button if you have questions for Joey. If someone wants to open up for the first question, the floor is open. Joey, you're pretty uh, scientific and analytical on these kicks. So uh, what happened on that on that final one? Uh, felt my foot get um, a lot of turf on the back end. Um, on turf fields, if you let your foot get caught at all, it's going to use the wrap. So um, got to see film-wise um, just where my body positioning is. Um, felt good going into the kick. I was into the net. Felt good today warming up. So um, we'll see. My chest is forward. My foot's probably down. My chest is forward. Foot's down. It's just going to hit deep on the on the ball, and I'm going to I'm going to get on that right panel and pull it. So it's kind of what I'm thinking happened. But like I said, I just got to look at the film, see a lot of speed, but um, not a leap in my in my position there. So pretty frustrated about that. Let's go to Bill Voth for the next question, and then Joe Person. Hey, Joey, I think this is your third chance to win a game this year. The first two would have been NFL records. But this one at 54, is this one you consider one that, that you really just have to make? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think uh, to for, for myself, um, I think that's 100% in range just based off what I've put on tape and what I've been able to, to do. Um, a 54-yarder is something that should be in my wheelhouse and should be somewhat of a kick that's a higher percentage for not only myself but the team to view and um, for me to not do what they sent me out there to do and what I feel like com comfortable hitting. Um, it's frustrating for me. Um, I want to put myself in a lot of those situations to, to put the team on my back and kind of wear that hat on my head and, and help us in, in different ways. And today I let the team down. So I'm very frustrated about that. Joey, did the block kick earlier have any effect on the timing or the mechanics of the last? Uh, no, we had two kicks prior to that last one that had good off times, um, had decent balls on them. So it had nothing to do with it. Just kind of go out and execute when called upon. And um, for me to try to get into that elite category of my position, I got to be able to go out and and hit kicks like that on a pretty consistent basis. So let's go to Chris Jenkins for the next question. Hey Joey, on that block kick, was everything perfect in the school on you guys end and maybe they just got through good or got a good jump on that block field goal? Um to be honest, I I'm I'm usually just trying to stay in rhythm with what um me, JJ and Joe have going on with our operation. So we'll look on film. Um, I'm going to do everything in my power um, and the things that I can control to obviously not, not let situations like that happen. But um, to be honest, I don't even know. Like we were looking at the, the sideline copies that we have on the tablets or whatever and trying to figure out where it came from. But for me, I'm just, uh, I, I don't know really where it came from. I'm just going to try to control what I can control on those. So. But the snap, the kick, the hold, everything like that on your end went pretty smooth. Yeah, I mean, I felt pretty confident in the ball strike on that one. I felt like I got good elevation and everything like that. So I felt good coming off my foot. Like I said, we'll see what, what the what the tape tells. So, um, but like I said, I'll try to control what I can control on those. Time for one more. So let's go to Elena before we let Joey go. Hey, Joey, I was just curious for you, when you're kicking these field goals on the turf, is there anything different that you have to do? Does that change how you kick or what element does that bring to your kick? Um, yeah, so different surfaces are going to give you um, just different compression on your on your plant foot. And then obviously, like I said earlier, um, if you get any turf like that, it's going to be um, kind of difficult to get through. It's just a little bit different than grass. Grass can kind of get underneath of it, um, kind of let your foot take some of the grass with you and, and get still get through the ball. But with turf, it's a little bit more um, firm, so it's harder to get through the ball sometimes. But uh, there's, yeah, there's different little nuances you have to do with your plant foot and swing um, just to make sure that you're not hitting turf. So like I said, I got to look at the tape and see what happened on that last one and, and kind of go from there. But. All right, guys, we got to let them go. Joey, appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate it, Preston. Appreciate it, guys.